let's see about cancer larynx that is laryngeal carcinoma epidemiology the laryngeal carcinoma constitutes 2.63% of all the body cancers in india and this is more commonly seen in males than in females but nowadays it is also increasingly seen in females especially in western countries because of their habit of smoking and the most common age group affected is 40 to 70 years etiology is for laryngeal carcinoma the most important risk factors are tobacco and alcohol these are the two most important risk factors the cigarette smoke contains substances like benzopyrene and hydrocarbons which are carcinogenic leading to laryngeal carcinoma and one more point is having both alcohol and smoking together increases the risk of laryngeal carcinoma by 15 times the other etiologies include genetic factors and occupational exposure like asbestos mustard gas exposure and exposure to certain petroleum products next the histopathology the majority of the lung laryngeal carcinomas are squamous cell carcinomas about 90 to 95 percent 5 to 10 percent of the lesions include other types like verrucous carcinoma spindle cell carcinoma malignant salivary gland tumor and sarcomas next let's see the classification ajcc classification it stands for american joint commissioner classification 2002 so here it is classified based on the site and the subsite in supraglottis the cancer can involve suprahyoid epiglottis infrahyoid epiglottis ary epiglottic fold arytenoids and ventricular bands that is the false vocal cords in glottis the subsite is true vocal cord and the subglottic the subsite subglottis up to the lower border of the cricoid cartilage first let's see about the supraglottic cancer the spread of supraglottic cancer the supraglottic cancer can extend upwards into the valvula base of the tongue and on the sides into the piriform fossa and it is also involved in upper and middle jugular nodes so it spreads to the upper and middle jugular nodes and a characteristic feature is nodal metastasis is an early feature in supraglottic cancer coming to the symptoms of supraglottic cancer the presenting symptoms are throat pain dysphagia that is difficulty in swallowing re- referred pain in ears and lymphadenopathy the late features include hoarseness of voice weight loss respiratory obstruction and halitosis that is bad breath next coming to the glottic cancer the spread of glottic cancer upwards it can spread to the ventricle that is the false vocal cord anteriorly it can extend into the anterior commissure and from there it can also spread to the opposite vocal cord posteriorly to vocal process and the arytenoid region and inferiorly it can spread to the subglottic region and the characteristic point is there is no nodal metastasis in glottic cancer as the glottis is devoid of lymphatic drainage next the symptoms of glottic cancer hoarseness of voice is an early symptom in glottic cancer whereas it was a late symptom in supraglottic cancer strider and laryngeal obstructions are also seen due to increase in size of growth and accompanying edema and the third type is subglottic cancer the spread of subglottic cancer spreads downwards to the trachea upwards to the vocal cords it also invades the cricothyroid membrane thyroid gland and the strap muscles of neck and here also there is lymph node metastasis seen and the metastasis is to the ple laryngeal pretracheal paratracheal and lower jugular nodes the symptoms of subglottic laryngeal carcinoma are strider laryngeal obstruction hoarseness of voice and dyspnea coming to the histopathological grades of laryngeal carcinoma 
divided into three grades. Grade 1 is well differentiated carcinoma, grade 2 is moderately differentiated and grade 3 is poorly differentiated. Next let's see the TNM stage grouping of laryngeal carcinoma. So the stages are stage 1, 2, 3, 4A, 4B and 4C. Similarly the T is T1 for 1, T2 for stage 2, T3 for stage 3, T4A for stage 4A and T4B for stage 4B. N. N for stage 1 and stage 2 it is N0 and for stage 3 it is N1, 4A is N2, 4B is N3. M. M stands for metastasis for 1, 2, 3, 4A and 4B. The first 5 stages there is no metastasis M0 whereas the last stage 4C only in that there is M1. So the stage 4C is NET, NEN with metastasis M1. This is the TNM stage grouping. Next the diagnosis of laryngeal cancer. The diagnosis can be made by first important thing is getting a detailed history from the patient then doing an indirect laryngoscope to visualize the larynx then flexible fiber optic or rigid laryngoscope flexible fiber optic laryngoscope is used most commonly in children then we do examination of neck for any lymphadenopathy lymphadenopathy indicates metastasis to the lymph nodes next is radiography radiographical examinations like CT, MRI, X-ray then we also do direct laryngoscope, micro laryngoscope and supravital staining using certain dyes and biopsy. First is history. Any patients in cancer age group having persistent or gradually increasing hoarseness of voice for three weeks must undergo a laryngeal examination to exclude cancer. Indirect laryngoscope. Using indirect laryngoscope we can see the appearance of lesion and the mobility of vocal cord and we can also see the extent of the disease. Radiographical investigations include x-ray chest, soft tissue, lateral view of neck, CT scan and MRI. Direct laryngoscope. Direct laryngoscope is used to see the hidden areas of the larynx and the extent of the disease. Whereas the hidden areas cannot be seen with indirect laryngoscope. Micro laryngoscope. This is done to see the small lesions of vocal cord. And this is laryngoscope is done under microscope to better visualize the lesion and to take more accurate biopsy specimen without damaging the cord. Next is supravital staining and biopsy. Here the stain used more commonly is cholidin blue which is applied to the laryngeal lesions and then it is washed with saline followed by examination under microscope. So here the findings are if there is carcinoma in situ or any superficial carcinomas they take up the toledin blue dye whereas the pre-malignant lesions and other benign lesions like leukoplakia does not take up the stain. Then the treatment of laryngeal cancer. The treatment can be radiotherapy, surgery. In surgery there are two types, conservational laryngeal surgery and total laryngectomy. In the other treatments are combined therapy, endoscopic resection with carbon dioxide laser and organ preservation. So that is all about laryngeal carcinoma, the important points. Thank you.